Hello everyone, this is Paul from Dintech. Welcome to another YouTube video in our training series. In this video we will be splicing two zip cord fibers together using a Dintech Easy Fiber external splice. The splices are for use in situations outside of the fiber tray or splice tray. You can see that the mechanical splice is encased in this singular black splice holder. This offers the protection needed for the joint. It also has mounting holes in it. This is for attaching to walls and other fixings. Okay, so for this exercise, we're going to need a few things. Firstly, we need our two fibers to be joined. We will need the easy fiber cleaver, a set of strippers, some cutters, our visual fault locator for shining down the splice. With the splice itself we have a couple of round crimps and lastly we have the casing that goes on top of the splice holder. So firstly, we need to take our two fibers and put our crimps on. These two, put them on. And after that, we need to strip off about 60 mils of the zip cord sheathing. Once we've done that, we take the Kevlar and move that out the way, grab our cutters and cut away the Kevlar. Okay. Right, so now that we've stripped off the outer sheath, we're going to take the small metallic crimp and we're going to crimp that down around the sheath that's there. You can use either a set of pliers, we're using the crimps from the strippers for this. Okay. And we'll do this to the other one as well. there and crimp that down. Next we take our strippers and start taking the buffer off, taking it about a centimeter at a time. Take too much at once, it will cause the fiber to, to break. Leaving ourselves about 5 mils of secondary buffer before the sheath. Okay, so we've got about 50 mils of fiber there. Next, we'll take our wipe. Give the fibre a clean. And we've got our cleaver, so we'll open up the cleaver lid, pushing the cleaving arm backwards, taking our fibre, we're going to sit that at the back, the edge of the crimp sitting where the cable guide is and laying the front of the fibre into the opposite end of the cable guides. Closing our lid, push the cleaving arm forward, push the button down and remove our fibre. Ok, 
Okay, so that fibre is now ready to insert into the splice. We'll take our splice. We're going to insert that in. Get nice and easy. Don't want to force it in. And that will should sit in place there. The crimp then sits into the special groove in there which will hold the fibre in place. Okay, so now we'll strip the other end. Once again, taking it off in small amounts. Coming back to about 5 mils in the end. Taking our cleaver. Remember to push that cleaving arm backwards. that in place now, closing the arm, push the cleaving arm through, press the button down to complete the cleave and we'll take our piece of scrap fibre, place that in the fibre then. Insert this in the other end. If we take our visual fault locator and plug this into the connector end, and we can see the light is travelling, it's ending at this point and it's escaping because the two fibres haven't been locked in place. We'll now take our fingers, push the locking tabs down and we can see that the light is now being coupled into the second fibre and is travelling through. Last thing to do is take our cover, put the cover over and lock it into place. And we can see the light is now coming through the other end. If we strip that off a bit, we'll be able to see the light coming through.